As word of the shooting spread, it suddenly sank in. Maybe Mark Rodriguez knew some of the victims. Ron Morin was one of the first ones we had heard about, and his wife Lynn had worked for me years ago. And then there were others. And I said, you know, we're going to need to do something. I mean, all these people are going to need some support, and what can we do? And what we do is we, we do fundraising. Rogue Life staff were suddenly cranking out Lewiston Strong hats and shirts, shipping orders across the country and beyond. They raised more than $200,000 in just two months for the cause. You know, we didn't realize when we did it how big it would be and, you know, the impact it would have. Orders have slowed, but the message remains. I go to Dunkin' Donuts the other day and the lady's wearing the shirt. It's like, you're wearing the shirt because you still believe in it. I think that in order for it to continue to go on, you have to make it go on. Brandy Walton thinks the sentiment continues and sees reminders throughout the city. You see all the blue hearts. That's what it's about. The Maine People's Alliance has kept up its Lewiston Strong sign, a constant reminder that's led to contemplation. What does it mean anyway, and what, what comes next after you've declared yourself to be strong? Together, the organization has been thinking about resiliency. How do we be, be strong for each other and for ourselves? Um, but more importantly, how, how are we healing? Uh, healing ourselves, healing each other, healing as a community. That's now reflected in their window, a maple tree, a symbol of healing and regrowth.